Once upon a time in a land filled with green valleys and high mountains, there lived a very friendly dragon named Ember. Ember had bright, shiny scales that sparkled in the sun like a rainbow. Despite looking big and scary, Ember was the kindest dragon you could ever meet. Ember loved to play with butterflies, chat with birds, and help the little critters in the forest. But deep down, Ember felt a big bit of loneliness. I wish I had a true friend, Ember often thought. Someone who isn't scared of my big roars or my smoke puffs. One sunny morning, Ember decided, Today is the day I will find a friend. So with a heart full of hope, Ember spread those vast wings and flew over the cozy valley where he lived. Ember's adventure to find a friend had just begun. Below the world was buzzing with life. Surely, Ember thought, among all these creatures I will find a friend. Ember was excited to meet new animals and was ready to do everything a good friend would. But little did Ember know, finding a friend wasn't going to be as easy as it seemed. Ready to face whatever came, Ember soared into the blue sky, leaving the safe valley behind. As Ember flew over the forest and fields, the dragon spotted a group of rabbits playing in the meadow. Hello there, Ember called excitedly, landing softly so as not to scare them. But oh, as soon as Ember landed, the rabbits hopped away, their tails disappearing into the bushes. Ember felt a little sad but didn't give up. Maybe they were just in a hurry, Ember thought. Next, Ember saw a family of deer drinking by a stream. Hi, friends! Ember shouted with a friendly wave of a wing. But just like the rabbits, the deer quickly ran off into the woods. Ember's heart felt heavy. Why does everyone run away? Ember wondered. Not too far away, Ember heard the cheerful chirping of birds. Birds love to chat, Ember thought, feeling hopeful again. Flying to the treetops, Ember greeted the birds with a gentle, Good day! But the birds flew off in a flurry, leaving Ember all alone once more. Sitting on a branch, Ember looked at the setting sun and felt very lonely. Finding a friend is harder than I thought, Ember sighed. But even with a few tears in Ember's eyes, the dragon refused to stop trying. I won't give up. I know there's a friend out there for me, Ember said with determination. So, as the stars began to twinkle, Ember decided to try again tomorrow. The adventure wasn't over yet. The next day, Ember woke up with the sun. Today will be different, Ember thought. I will find a friend. Ember flew over a different part of the forest, wondering who to try and befriend next. Soon, Ember spotted some squirrels gathering nuts. This is my chance, Ember thought, landing gently near them and offering a big, friendly smile. Hello, can I help you collect nuts? Ember asked cheerfully. But just like before, the squirrels scattered in every direction thus leaving Ember alone with the pile of nuts. Ember felt a lump in the throat. Why is everyone so scared of me? Ember couldn't understand. It was then that Ember heard whispering voices. Hiding behind a big tree, Ember listened. It's that big dragon again. I heard dragons breathe fire and could burn down the whole forest. One of the animals whispered fearfully. Yes, and they eat animals like us for breakfast, another voice added. Ember's heart sank. They think I'm scary because I'm a dragon, but I wouldn't hurt anyone, Ember thought sadly. Realizing the misunderstanding, Ember had an idea. I need to show them I'm a friend, Ember decided. With a new sense of purpose, Ember started helping around the forest quietly. Ember watered flowers, helped build bird nests, and even carefully placed the scattered nuts into the squirrels' homes. Ember worked hard, hoping to change the forest animals' minds. After a few days of helping in secret, Ember noticed a change. The animals were starting to come out while Ember was still around. They whispered less and watched more, curiosity replacing fear in their eyes. One morning, as Ember was gently moving a stranded fish back into the river, a little rabbit approached, hesitantly. Um, why do you help us? the rabbit asked, its voice tiny. Ember smiled kindly. Because I want to be a good friend, even if we seem different. Ember replied. The rabbit hopped closer, no longer afraid. I've never had a dragon friend before, it said. And I've never had a rabbit friend, Ember chuckled. Word of Ember's kindness spread like the morning light through the forest. Animals started to approach Ember, asking for help with tasks or just wanting to talk. They saw Ember's gentle heart and how the dragon's actions spoke louder than any fears they once held. Ember helped the squirrels find the best nuts like played games with the bunnies, and even told stories to the young deer under the moonlight. Ember was finally feeling the warmth of friendship fill the air. 
One evening, as Ember was admiring the sunset, the forest animals gathered around. Ember, they said, you've shown us kindness and bravery. We were wrong to judge you just because you are a dragon. Ember's heart felt as full as the moon. True friendship had blossomed in the most unexpected place. The forest was buzzing with excitement. The animals had planned a special surprise for Ember. We have something for you, the animals said, leading Ember to a clearing filled with decorations. It was a party, a thank you party for Ember. There were colorful flowers everywhere, and in the middle of the clearing was the biggest pile of fruits and nuts Ember had ever seen. This is for being such a wonderful friend, the little rabbit said, hopping with joy. Ember felt so happy. Tears glistened in Ember's eyes. Thank you, everyone. I just wanted friends, and now I have a whole forest full of them. Ember roared with joy, a roar filled with happiness and not a bit scary. The party was filled with laughter, games, and stories. Ember breathed out gentle puffs of smoke, making shapes that delighted everyone. That night, as Ember lay down under the stars, surrounded by new friends, the dragon knew this was just the beginning of many adventures. Good night, friends, Ember whispered, feeling grateful for the warmth of friendship. Good night, Ember, the forest whispered back. And with that, Ember drifted into a peaceful sleep, dreaming of days to come, filled with joy, laughter, and the kind of love that only true friends can give. Ember's quest for a friend had led to something much bigger, a reminder that kindness is the key to unlocking hearts. We hope you enjoyed this story. If you liked this video, please go ahead and push the like button. If you like the content and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.